Hi, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Renee, also known as Miss HG Mercury from the Sunshine Coast Pinup School. I'm a vintage stylist and a pinup photographer and I've got Betty Bangs. And people are always asking me how I trim and style my Betty Bangs. So let's go. She's the queen of the sea. So today we're going to go through how I trim and style my own Betty Bangs. I love them. I have been back and forth for many years about growing them out, getting them back in, all of that. You can check out a blog that I wrote about the pros and cons, the pros and cons of Betty Bangs. There are some, I think the pros outweigh the cons, but one of them is you've got to cut and style them regularly. I have fast growing hair, I think, um, and I need to trim my own bangs probably once a month. Uh, if not once every two months, if I'm getting pretty lazy, but they end up getting quite long and I can't see anything. Um, so I also pretty much style them every day. Um, so it is a little bit of a commitment, but I'm about to show you how I do that. Um, now my number one tip is that I do it on freshly washed hair. Um, and I won't be having any other style. So this is about as pretty as you're gonna get me today. Uh, I won't be having my hair in any other style um, when I trim and style my bangs in, because I like to give my hair a little bit of a break when I wash my hair. So without further ado, let's get these suckers all trimmed up. Okay, so it's time to wash my hair. These are how Betty Bangs sort of go in the morning. Um, so yeah, they can be in all different angles sometimes. If I sleep on my side, I can get some good old ones hanging up the side here, but I've got to wash my hair. Each time I do wash my hair, I do a little bit of assessment to see if I do need to actually trim my bangs. Um, usually I'll get these little straggly bits and I'll notice that when I am styling it, it's not as manageable as what it normally is when it's freshly trimmed and you can just, you know, straighten it out a bit. And when it gets to about my eyebrow length, is when I like to give it a trim. So I'm going to go wash my hair, get it all silky smooth, and I'll be back. Okay, so after I wash my hair, I comb it through, and then I normally chuck in some of the Deepmark Ultra Soft Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I'll leave a link to a blog down below on my how to care for your hair when you unpin. Um, and with all the products that I use for that, but I put it in a towel and just let it absorb most of the moisture for about half an hour or so while I get along with my morning duties. So, glasses off. <laughs> Let's take that out. So it's not dripping anymore because I have a fairly thickish hair, I guess. Um, and I, when I care for my hair, when I unpin, um, I let it go back to its natural state, which is a wavy state, and I try to eliminate how much heat I use in it, just to give it a little bit of a self-care day. So, ugh, normally try and find my middle part. Let's see if I can get it good today. Yeah, there you go. I'll grab my middle part and then obviously because my bangs are set in I can comb them out and then any little extra bits just get them to go back all right so as you can see when it's straight and wet it's at about my eyebrow length um, I do have, I am very fortunate in my Betty Bangs in that I don't really have much of a cowlick. Um, so if you do have a cowlick and you need to, all my hair does is sort of like go off to the side. <laughs> um, so if you do have a cowlick or anything like that, you will want to style your bangs and make sure they're sitting correctly before you trim them. Um, so I'm going to just get my hair, the rest of my hair, to the point where um, I'm ready to blow dry my bangs. So give me a minute.
Okay, so now I'm going to just blow dry the rest of my hair for a little bit just to take most of that moisture out. Um, this is just a wild hair dryer and I'm going to be adding my diffuser attachment. As I said, I do a little bit of a curly girl method. If you want to jump down the rabbit hole, there are so many tutorials and information on YouTube. Um, just hit me up and I'll tell you who my favorite um, content creators are for curly hair. And yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now my hair is most of the moisture taken out. I'm just going to clip these sides out of the way because you want to have as much clearance as you can into your fringe when you trim it. Let's make that a little bit tweeter. Okay, so now you want to get your fringe Betty bangs um, as straight as possible. I do that with a hairdryer. Um, if you need to as well, you can straighten it as well. You want to get all of those hairs laying as flat as possible. And the way that I do it is I go from the top. If you go from here, you're going to get your bangs up and like that, which is fine if you're when you're styling it. But when you're cutting it, you want all of your hairs to lay nice and flat. And you can use your comb as you go along as well. Okay, so they are almost dry. It's going to lay it flat, making sure all those hairs are fairly straight. Usually I know that I've picked the right time to uh, trim my fringe if in that stage I'm stabbing myself in the eye with the ends of my hair. Uh, so you want to get your hair nice and flat like so. As I said, if you do have a cowlick that you need to style to get it into this, do that first because you want to have all of the hair nice and straight. And you can see straights about my eyebrow length. Now, I do use beard trimmers for this. These ones come in a, a set, it's like a home hair care set. My boys do um, shaved head and crew cuts, so I always normally, when it's time to get new clippers, I always buy them in a set. Um, and this one's done us really well. The big clippers are electric powered and the beard trimmers are just battery. You can use proper clippers if that's all that you have. You just keep in mind that you've got a larger surface area to use. Whereas I like the, you know, take the cap off. I like the beard trimmers because you have a shorter um, width to work with and you can usually get a little bit more accurate. So these are really good together. <laughs> So I'm going to just straight up trim. Um, I do curl my bangs in slightly. So that's one thing to consider if you do style your bangs like the way that I do and curl them in slightly with a hair straightener that when you do clip, clip them, they're going to sit when you style them a little bit further up. Also because this is dead straight as well, it's going to sit that little bit further up. So. What I do, get it all nice and flat. And actually before I do that, um, as I said, in this household, we use clippers a lot. And one of the life-saving things, although not exactly environmentally friendly, it's the only reason we still have cling wrap in our 
household is I cover the whole sink. I'm standing over the top of my sink. Um, I cover the whole sink with Glad Wrap. And then all of your hair is going to, and all the clippings are going to stick to that Glad Wrap. And it makes clean up so much easier. Also, another tip that I have is when you are trimming your bangs, um, by all means, you can do it with makeup on. As I said, I normally have it as a unpinned day when I wash my hair. Um, that you want to have all of your lotions and all of your makeup set and really dry down because any little bits of hair that you do trim can like just get stuck in your makeup or stuck in your moisturizer. So you want to make sure that it's all nice and dried down. You have it just put on a layer of moisturizer and then you trim your bangs. You know what I mean? All right, so I am going to get that all nice and flat and I'm going to go straight in with these clippers and I start center with my nose. And you want, the reason why also that you want to trim them before they get past your eyebrows is because you're gonna know that you're not actually trimming your eyebrows. I've done that before, trust me. <laughs> So I go straight in, a nice steady hand. It's a bit freaky the first time you do it. And get a nice clean cut. And then I just work up the line that I have. Starting in the middle. can't see, you have to take some of this hair off your eyebrows. All right, and then at this stage, just give it a little brush down with whatever brush came with the kit. Brush your eyebrows and give it a little bit of a fluff to get any of those little stragglies out of the way. And then give it another trim. Give it another comb and assess your trim. So be careful when you do get to the sides here. Um, this is why I like to pull this quite taut on the side, but if you do want that really extreme curve on the side, you can actually shave this little bit. Just keep in mind that that's something that you're going to have to maintain. I have done it before and growing it out was a bitch, but <laughs> It gave me that really nice defined curve on the side of my Betty Bang. So from here you can reassess. I've got like a little bit there that I probably didn't brush straight. A little bit there. So just go in and trim that up. And then you can see if it's straight or not. It's all right. All right by me. And then another thing you can do is you can grab your rat tail comb and I place it like on my nose, corner of my eye, and then have a look at where it is. And then I'll just do a little mark with my finger where my eyebrow is and then do the same on the other side. So, how did that go there? There, there, about there. So as you can see, it's a bit shorter on the other side than what it is on this side. So I'm just gonna take it a little bit higher on the other side. So you can see how much more control I have with the smaller width in the beard trimmer as compared to the regular clippers. Um, so that's why I suggest having one of these. You can buy them separately, I think, but for us, just buying it in a combo is usually a bit more economical. All right, so once you are happy 
with how it is. Now it's straight enough, anything like that. Now we're gonna go in and give it a straighten and a style. Now I love little mini hair straighteners for this. You can use a big one, but you'll find that the plates are actually quite big, especially if you decide to cut it a little bit shorter and do little baby Betty Bangs. I like these little mini ones. This is a where it's, um, VS Sassoon Mini Pro. And I've gone through, I think this is my second one since I've been styling my Betty Bangs. Um, but you just go through and give it a little bit of a curve, but I also like to split my fringe, which I'll just grab my clip. I split my fringe as well. You don't need to do this if you don't have super thick hair. Um, I like to do it. So I just split it widthways. Clip that bit out of the way. And just straighten and curl it in two stages. So you just grab your finger about the width of your straightener. And then I just give it just that tiny little at the end. You can go really extreme with your curve. You can just do it straight down. It just depends how curved you like your Betty Bangs. These little side bits can be a little challenging. That's why I suggest getting a small travel sized mini hair straightener just for this task. And then give it a little bit of a brush. You can see I curved that bit a bit too far. Go in again with a slightly less curve. There we go. This little endy needs to be a little bit more curved. And then once you're happy with the bottom layer, add the top in. So as I can, I can see I've got like one little straggler here. So what I'm gonna do is just grab some scissors and give that a little clip. Sometimes every single time you wash your hair and you part your hair again, you might get some little bits that may have accidentally been stuck behind when you did do it and when you did trim your um, fringe. So you can just give them a little bit of a trim like so and it'll just be the one or two hairs that you've got to do that for all right so i'm going to grab that second layer and do the same thing a little bit of a curve Let's see i didn't grab all of that one And just keep combing it down, seeing how it's sitting. I tend to get my hair going that way. So what you can do is you can grab, keep doing it in your sections and you can just overextend it the other way and then that'll normally straighten it up for you. You can grab all of it now and do that. So it depends how your hair behaves, how your hair naturally curves and flicks. I sort of just grab sections, comb it into place, see how it's sitting. That one's a little bit higher, so I'm just going to go whoop, pull that down. And this side really wants to flick that way. I'm just going to overextend it like so. And then when I brush that down, there you go, it's a little bit straighter. That one there, get in line. There you go. So that is how I will style my bangs every single day, most days. I will split it that way and curve under the bottom layer and then add in the top layer. Once you've um, already styled your bangs, like tomorrow and stuff like that, it's hardly going to need. Sometimes it just needs a little brush together. Now another trick uh, that I do, you can leave it like this if you want, but Depends how free flowing you want your fringe. Mine likes to separate a bit. So I just grab 
chunks and give it just a gentle tease. This also gives you a more voluminous Betty Bang. So I give it just a gentle tease and then gently brush down those top layers. And then what I also do is get that and just do a little boop, 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 like so, just to get all those hairs in. Now, one of the best things that you can do for Betty Bangs is to hairspray them, but don't use a heavy hold thick hairspray. I like using a working hairspray because you're gonna get a little bit more movement in the day so that if you do turn your head, you don't have this big solid chunk hanging around on your head. So I love this Muck, uh, Hot Muck 6-in-1 working spray. It is the best thing I've ever found for Betty Bangs and keeping them in place, but not look like they're in place. You know what I mean? So I just give that a a mist and then I can just use my hand to get any stragglies into place and then I just bop it like that and then lift your head and a little spray on the bottom. And then that is going to keep your bangs in place but they doesn't look so <laughs> hairsprayed. <laughs> So they still have movement, that still has shine, and it's really easy to comb down in the end of the day, and you don't have to start from scratch a lot of the time to style your bangs. And then you can just do your hair however you like to do it. Um, I'm just gonna let my hair naturally dry, as I do, but I hope you enjoyed my very chaotic, I don't know how you call it, tutorial where it's just me doing my bangs <laughs> so this is how i do my bangs and how i style them every single day and yeah they're not that scary on the days that i don't feel like doing this and they are at the eyebrow level um that's normally when i would put them up and away or just curve them a lot more um curve them a lot more under so that they do pop up above my eyebrows um yeah, i do sometimes style them away in one of the styles that I have in my online course, Betty Bangs. Bye bye, 11 ways to style away Betty Bangs, which you can do on this length, but it's also a lot easier when they're sort of near to trim, but you don't have time to do a trim. <laughs> okay, thank you. And make sure you check out all the links down the bottom for everything that I've used and for extra blogs and extra things that you may want to find out about Betty Bangs. See ya. Oh, bang, bang. Bang. So let's go. Bang, bang.